Hello, my friends. Happy Monday. Or it might be Tuesday for some of you by now. <laughs> it's me, Miss Mithril. And we're tuning in with a beautiful brand new week. I hope you've had a nice weekend. Did a lot of fun things. Have you seen Angie anywhere? Hmm. I thought I saw him earlier before the show started. But I couldn't seem to get a hold of them. Hmm. Hmm. Well, maybe they'll show up eventually. Maybe after the show, you know, gets a few minutes in. When they start to hear an interesting part of what piques their interest. Hmm. Anyway. Ah, it's me. I was just kidding with you. I've been here the whole time. Whoa. Oh, goodness me. You scared me. What? I'm not supposed to be scary, I'm supposed to be a superhero, remember? <laughs> yeah, I remember. Welcome back, and welcome back to you, Miss Mitchell. I hope you had a great weekend, too. Likewise. What are we doing today? Well, we got some new segments, and, uh, wait, that means segments. Um, things that we're gonna do. Parts of what we're gonna do today. Oh, okay, segments. So we're gonna do lots of segments, you guys. Are you guys ready for the segments? So what's the segments on this week? I heard you see something about toys this week. That's something we talked about a little bit in the past, but we didn't really have a week where we focused on it. That's right, this week we are going to be focusing on different kinds of toys that we have. So if you have toys that you want to bring along while you watch the show, there are all sorts of different kinds of ways of using them. And I'd like to encourage you to use yours. Yeah! Oh, what's a toy? A toy, um, well, a toy can be different things. Oh yeah, different things. Yeah, we knew that. We knew that, right? Uh, as a matter of fact, some might actually consider you a toy. I'm a toy. <laughs> what do you think, friends? Do you think Auntie is a toy? I think you are a fantastic puppet. And I love you. <laughs> Am I a toy, though? Um, you are one of my toys, but also one of my friends. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. I, I could take that. I could, if I'm at least a friend to somebody, that's great stuff for me. And uh, to the other person, too, because it's important to be friends with somebody, even if they're different from you. You know, me and Miss Smith, we're very different. We're very different colors. I mean, she changes her color a lot more than I do. And, you know, we have different kinds of eyes. See? But... What mad is, is that we care about each other, we love each other very much. You have a friend that's very different from you, that you love to play with? Here's a good question for you. Do you share your toys with them? Sharing toys is very important. Even for adults. Oh, so even adults have toys too? Yes, indeed, sometimes we do. Oh, okay, well, what, what's the difference between grown-up toys and little kid toys? Or little people toys. Hmm. To me, there's not that much difference. To you? Yeah, a lot of what I have around here are actually very similar to things I used to have in my childhood. Oh, did you hear that? And some of them are the exact same things. Really? So they're as old as you? <laughs> yes, they're as old as me. I have one of my favorite childhood books called Morris and Boris. It's still in the next room, and I even have my name written in it that I remember trying to write it with a pink crayon. <laughs> you must have been so little and cute. I was actually pretty big for my age. I was um, taller than most of the kids in my class, and I was tough. I loved running around. But we're getting off subject. Yeah, we're getting off subject. We were talking about toys and books. Is books considered toys, too? They can be. Oh, okay, okay. Well, we'll t play some more with some more toys later on today. Right now, we have to get our schedule and our time time going. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to get going with the day. Yeah. Time's getting away from us. We got to snatch it while we can. Snatch that time while you can. Are you going to help me get that? Yeah, I got this. There you go, Miss Mithril. You got it. Oh, oh. Yeah, I got it. All right. What's this mean, friends? It's time for a time time. Time time. Time time. Time 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 time. Time time. Alrighty, so right now it is 11.13 according to us, so the little red hand has been on the 10 because that's usually when we start the show, but now we're starting a little bit later. And it is 
10, 13. So we're going to put it right here. The red, oh, excuse me, the blue hand is going to go just past the 2, and that's going to indicate 11, 13 a.m. All right, see, because we've got a multiple times table. Let's count our times for our fives. Ready? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, and that's our five times table. Excellent. All right. Oh, that blue three is looking a little funky right now, but that's okay. And then two ones to indicate 11. All right, so we have our clock and our analog telling us that it's 11.13 a.m. Excellent. All right, and now we're going to look at our schedule. Now, if you'll remember... Ms. Mithril mentioned that we were going to have a different schedule from now on. The last thing we're having is we won't be reading the story or our folk tales at the end of the segment anymore. We're going to have what's called word time. You notice this word is different from what we've seen before? Instead of saying T-A-L-E, we have the letters W-O-R-D. W-O-R-D spells word. So the third segment, or the third part of our streams, streams and episodes at this time, are going to be word time. We'll take two words of the day and put them into a sentence. It's going to be great. Alright, so first things first, we'll start off with our story times. We have the X there for the story time. Now, today's story is about a special little girl named Lily. Do you know anybody named Lily by any chance? I've had a student named Lily. Oh, and she loves this book. <laughs> she used to pretend that she was the little mouse in this book, which we're about to read about. We're about to read about Lily's purple plastic purse. And she loves this toy. It's her favorite, and she really wants to show it off at school. Do you have a toy that you just believe is just so amazing, you just want to show it to all your friends at school? Let's see what happens to Lily when she shares her purple plastic purse. Lily's plastic purple purse, excuse me, Lily's purple plastic purse by Kevin Hintz. Lily loved school. I love school. She loved the pointy pencils. She loved the squeaky chalk. And she loved the way her boots would clickety clickety click down the long shiny hallways. Lily loved the privacy of her very own desk. Mine. <laughs> she loved the fish sticks and the chocolate milk every Friday in the lunchroom. Straws make everything taste better. And most of all, she loved her teacher, Mr. Slinger. For you. Mr. Slinger was as sharp as a tack. He wore artistic shirts. He wore glasses on a chain around his neck. And he wore a different colored tie for each day of the week. Listen up. Wow, said Lily. That was just about all she could say. Wow. Instead of reading students or good morning pupils, Mr. Slinger winked and said, Howdy. He thought that desks in rows were old-fashioned and boring. Do you rodents think you can handle semicircle? And he always provided the most tasty snacks, things that were curly and crunchy and cheesy. I want to be a teacher when I grow up, said Lily. Me too, said her friends, Chester and Wilson and Victor. At home, whoops, 
<laughs> At home, Lily pretended to be Mr. Slinker. I am the teacher, she told her baby brother Julius. Listen up. Lily even wanted her own set of deluxe picture encyclopedias. What's with Lily? asked her mother. I thought she wanted to be a surgeon, or an ambulance driver, or a diva, said her father. It must be because of her new teacher, Mr. Slinger, said her mother. Wow, said her father. That was just about all he could say. Wow. Whenever the students had free time, they were permitted to go to the light bulb lab in the back of the classroom. They expressed their ideas creatively, creatively through drawing and writing. Lily went often. She had a lot of ideas. She drew pictures of Mr. Slinger, and she wrote stories about him, too. During sharing time, Lily showed her creation to the entire class. Wow, said Mr. Slinger. That was just about all he could say. Wow. And at the very last second, Mr. Slinger saved the cold, starving elderly. When Mr. Slinger had a bus duty, Lily stood in line, even though she didn't ride the bus. Call on me! Call on me! Please, please! Lily raised her hand more than anyone else in the class, even if she didn't know the answer. And she volunteered to stay after school to clap erasers. I want to be a teacher when I grow up, said Lily. Excellent choice, said Mr. Slinger. Do you have a teacher that you really appreciate and love? Trust me, they love you too. One morning, Miss Lily came to school especially happy. She had gone shopping with her Grammy over the weekend. Lily had a new pair of movie star sunglasses, complete with glittery diamonds and a chain like Mr. Slinger's. She had three shiny quarters, and best of all, she had a brand new purple plastic purse and played a jaunty tune whenever it opened. We've seen these musical shapes before. That indicates that something's making a sound that we can't hear on the pages. You know that music is playing. Lily wanted to show everyone. Not now, said Mr. Slinger. Listen to our story. Lily had a hard time listening. Lily really wanted to show everyone. Not now, said Mr. Slinger. Let's be considerate of our classmates. Lily had a hard time being considerate. Lily really wanted to show everyone. Not now, said Mr. Slinger. Wait until recess or sharing time. But Lily could not write. The glasses were so glittery. The quarters were so shiny. And the purse played such nice music, not to mention how excellent it was for storing school supplies. Lily whispered fiercely, Look, everyone! Look what I've got! And everyone looked, including Mr. Slinger. He was not amused. I'll just keep your things at my desk. Until the end of the day, said Mr. Slinger. They'll be safe there, and then you can take them home. Lily's stomach lurched. She felt like crying. Her glasses were gone. Her quarters were gone. Her purple plastic purse was gone. Lily longed for her purse all morning. She was even too sad to eat the snack Mr. Slinger served before recess. Aww. Have you ever felt as sad as Lily feels right now? What do you think is going to happen next? That afternoon, Lily went to the light bulb lab. She was very sad. And thought, and she thought, and she thought, and when she, then she became angry. She thought, and she thought, and she thought some more, and then she became furious. She thought, and she thought, and she thought a bit longer, and then she drew a picture of Mr. Slinger. Right before the last bell rang the drawing into Mr. Slinger's book bag. Big, fat, mean, Mr. Stealing teacher. Claws. Thief. Bad. Wanted by FBI. 
bad. P.S. I do not want to be a teacher when I grow up. Seems like she's pretty upset with her teacher. And that happens sometimes. We do get angry at our teachers. We get angry at just about everybody. But let's see how she handles it. Here's what happens at the end of the day. When all of the students were buttoned and zipped and snapped and tied to ready to go home, Mr. Slinger strolled over to Lily and gave her her purple plastic purse back. It's a beautiful purse, said Mr. Slinger. Your quarters are nice and jingly, and those glasses are absolutely fabulous. You may bring them back to school as long as you don't disturb the rest of the class. I do not want to be a teacher when I grow up, Lily said as she marched out of the classroom. Oh, look how high up her boots go as she stomps out of the classroom in anger. On the way home, Lily opened her purse. Her glasses and quarters were inside, and so was a note from Mr. Slinger. It said, Today was difficult. Tomorrow will be better. There was also a small bag of tasty snacks at the bottom of her purse. Remember how earlier she was so upset she didn't feel like having snack? He made sure to set some aside for her so she could have it later when she felt better. Oh, but does she feel better yet? Oh. Lily's stomach lurched. She felt like crying. She felt simply awful. Lily ran all the way home and told her mother and father everything. Instead of watching her favorite cartoons, Lily decided to sit in the uncooperative chair. I'll stay here a million years for Mr. Slinger. Why does everything always happen to me? 1051, 1052, 1099. Oh! That night, Lily drew a new picture of Mr. Slinger and wrote a story about him, too. Lily was really, really sorry, so everyone forgave her. Even her parents, even her stinky baby brother. Even her especially incredible teacher. And then the sun shined its smiley face down on everyone and everything. Even the bugs and worms. The end. Listen up. I forgive everyone. Kind. Good. Could be principal. Worms. Bugs. Oops. <laughs> I am really, 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 really sorry. <laughs> I'm an author. <laughs> How could he resist my no frills cheese balls? What does it say? Lily's mother wrote a note, and Lily's father baked some tasty snacks for Lily to take to school the next day. I think Mr. Slinger will understand, said Lily's mother. I know he will, says Lily's father. The next morning, Lily got to school early. These are for you, Lily said to Mr. Slinger, because I, I'm really, 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 really sorry. That's a lot of sorries. Mr. Slinger read the story, and he looked at the picture, and he read the note. What does it say? And he sampled the snacks. Wow, said Mr. Slinger. That was just about all he could say. Wow. <laughs> What do you think we should do with this? asked Mr. Slinger. Could we just throw it away? Excellent idea, said Mr. Slinger. It's like having an extra pocket with a radio inside. Three quarters are even better than a dollar bill because they make noise. Glamorous protection from harmful rays. During share time, Lemmy demonstrated the many uses and unique qualities of her purple plastic purse, her shiny quarters, and her glittery movie star sunglasses. Then she did a little performance using them as props. It's called interpretive dance, said Lily. Mr. Slinger joined in. Wow, said the entire class. That was just about all they could say. Wow. Throughout the rest of the day, Lily's purple purse and quarters and sunglasses were tucked safely inside her desk. 
She peeked at them often, but did not disturb a soul. Right before the last bell rang, Mr. Slinger served Lily snacks to everyone's delight. What do you want to be when you grow up? asked Mr. Slinger. A teacher! Everyone responded. Lily's response was the loudest. Excellent choice, said Mr. Slinger. Yippee! No frilled cheese balls! Wow! Goodies! Delish! As the pupils filed out of the classroom, Lily held her purple plastic purse close to her heart. Mr. Slinger was right. It had been a better day. Lily ran and skipped and hopped and flew all the way home. She was so happy, and she really did want to be a teacher when she grew up. <laughs> that is, when she didn't want to be a dancer, or a surgeon, or an ambulance driver, or a diva, or a pilot, or a hairdresser, or a scuba diver. Accident! Accident! Woo! Woo! Hold still, the doctor's here. Ready for takeoff. There are all sorts of feelings we can have. What are some of the feelings that Lily had in this book? We know at first she was happy. Then she was sad when her favorite toys got taken away in the classroom. When all she wanted to do was share them and just show them off to people. And then she got mad when she realized that her teacher had taken them away. Even though he said they was going to be safe, it still hurts when someone takes something from you. At the same time, though, it would have been a good idea for her to wait until the end of the day because that's a great time to really show off your friends. You don't have the middle of class to worry about. <laughs> These are all feelings that we can definitely relate to. But there's always going to be a right time and a right place to play with your toys. Like now, for instance, it's a great time to play with our toys because we're about to enter the fun time. <laughs> Got your toys ready? You ready to check off the story time with me? On the count of three, get that check fingers out. One, two, three, check. There we go. Story time is done done. Now it's time for fun fun. Here's one of my toys. It's a little out of tune right now, but I'm going to fix it up. This is my ukulele made of wood and it makes a nice sound whenever I strum the strings. Well usually it's a nice sound. When it's tuned it'll sound better. But here's what it sounds like now. <laughs> See I can put my fingers on different parts on the what's called the nodes and it makes different music notes. <laughs> I'm just starting out to learn how to play with this. The way I see it, if you play with toys, you can really just let your imagination go and let your mind be free of stresses and learn how to do something, even when it's just a toy version of something. I really like it, though. You remember when we were talking about the musical notes? This one's got musical notes on it, too. See that? <laughs> I've also got one more thing for when Mickey decides to show up. You mean like right now? Ah! Yeah, right here. <laughs> Welcome back, Auntie. Welcome back yourself. That story was great, though. So I got a great idea of what kind of toys there were. So they're just poises and coins and, well, mm, they could be pretty much anything. It's something that you play with. Yeah, okay, I think I'm getting it. So... Do we have toys that we can share with our friends today? Yes, as a matter of fact. I actually have one of the items that Lily had. Do you remember the three items that she had that were very important to her? The 
The first one was the purple plastic purse. The second one was how many silver coins? Do you remember? Silver quarters? Three. That was the second thing. And then a pair of movie star glasses. That's right. Which one of those do we have today? I don't know. Shoot, technically we got two. I still have quarters left over when we were talking about the coins, the roundness, their circles. I got one of the quarters. Well, I think it is a quarter. Look at that. But <laughs> the thing I really wanted to share are these. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh, you dropped them. We have some movie star glasses. <gasps> oh my goodness! Oh, th which one's mine? <laughs> the one that doesn't look like you could, it could, you could use it as a bed. Yeah, that'd be a very hard bed. So those right there? Yes. These are usually mine, but I'm going to share them with Auntie. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh, well, I look so different. Oh, am I styling? Yes. But I got a problem. Yes, I don't have a nose, so whoop. I can't keep off. Oh, oh. yeah, that that's hard. Okay. I'm I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, maybe if you close your mouth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you can't talk though. Oh. I see what you're doing here. Uh, let's see what we got. Oh, oh, hey, there we go. Auntie is styling. Remember, don't talk. Don't say, say, say. don't say anything. <laughs> now it's my turn. I got these big movie star glasses. Just as silly as can be. Let's put them on. Ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I lost them. Try it again? Yeah. <laughs> Try it one more time. All right. Ah. And we are styling. Stand! Don't look drats. <laughs> What's it like having the nose? Well, sometimes it's great, but sometimes it stinks. <laughs> Miss Mithril told the joke this time. <laughs> <sighs> Ta-da! <laughs> Do we look absolutely silly? <laughs> okay, okay. Alright. Alright. And she's going to go sit in the front row. Mm. See, I like these because they bend on inward so they can grab onto my ear back here. And I can wear them without worrying about them slipping off. <laughs> these are great for picture days. You just want to be silly with your friends. This is why it's great to share. And that's what Lily wanted to do. She wanted to have fun with her new toys and share it with her friends. <laughs> well, that is going to be fun time. Let's see what we're looking at here. Our schedule, once again. Can you get out your check mark fingers, Because we're going to take the X from the fun, put it to Word. That is the second thing that we did today. Ready? One, two, three, and check. Oops. Ah! <laughs> and fun time is done, done. Fun, fun is done, done. Fun time is done, done. Let's move on to our word time. Word time! Yeah! Okay, so today's words, we're going to have... Whoop. Okay. We're going to have two words every day. And today's words are going to be all and am. All, am. A-L-L -L spells all. A M spells M M Am All Am All Let's fold this in half so it's a little bit easier to see. Oh, I like this. They fold right on the line. Am A M Am all. A-R-L-L. -L. All. What letter do you see on both sides? A. That's correct. See, there's an A here and an A here. 
at the beginning of am and at the beginning of all. A can make two sounds, a, a, a sound or a, a, a sound. In this case, all am. Now we're going to use those in a sentence. Here we go. Here we have a sentence written in green, but the words that are in red are the words you just saw. I am going to play with all my toys. I am going to play with all my toys. Can you say that? Repeat after me. I am going to play with all my toys. <laughs> Alrighty, friends. It has been a great time with you, as always. I hope you've got tons of toys that you can take out and play with. See if you can dig into the bottom of your toy chest or your closet or wherever all your favorite toys are and see if you can find some older toys you haven't played with in a while. Get one out! If it's something soft and cuddly, give it a nice hug. If it's something that you can wear, why not make it your accessory for the day? And if it's something that you can have make noise, why not give it a shake or a strum? <laughs> Whatever you choose to do, the purpose of toys is to always have fun. Thank you for joining us today, friends. And he wants to say goodbye. He's waving, he's frank, they're waving frantically at me. Goodbye, friends. Even though I found out I'm a toy today, I am still your antibody. Remember, keep safe and healthy and happy. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>